Shashi Tharoor. Mr. Speaker, I do appreciate the intention of the Minister to set up the New Delhi International, International Arbitration Center to encourage arbitration in India, but I'm afraid I have to object to the introduction of this version of the bill because of three reasons, sir. Number one, we need an autonomous arbitration center which is independent of the government, especially since arbitration involving PSUs is a common feature in our country. The bill vests the powers of direction and control with the central government in relation to the arbitration center. Therefore, the minister must remove these powers from his general superintendent's powers. Otherwise, independence will not be there. It will not be seen as an arbitration center. Number two, sir. There are three, three reasons. Number two, the bill specifies that every rule made under it shall be placed before Parliament. Now, we have to give enough room to the elbow, elbow room to the centre to change its arbitration rules for administering disputes. But the fact is that the world is changing in the field of arbitration. The Singapore Centre for International Arbitration has amended its rules multiple times since 2010 and is actually receiving many cases that should come to India. Uh, it's procedurally burdensome to put this before the central government and I, I would request that this also uh, have to be looked at again. And third, the relationship between the centre and the parties are contractual in nature. Thus the centre must be held accountable and should work in a transparent manner. The limitation of liability of the center under this law is too broad it will fail the purpose of achieving an arbitration law. Rather than adopting a wide exception such as good faith, the bill should adopt a, a more acceptable standard uh, for, for uh, the question of the center's liability. The transparency standards also need to be increased and of course the center uh, is deemed to be under the ambit of the RTI Act which is also a challenge the minister appears to have overlooked. So let me request the speaker, we do need a robust international arbitration center that can make India the hub of arbitration. Right now many Indian cases are going to Singapore because we are not doing it sir. Therefore if the minister would withdraw this bill, think of these objections, come back with a bill that can truly meet international standards, he could introduce that. Thank you. I am a little amused by the observation of honorable member. On the one hand he is supportive of the idea that India's must develop as a hub of international and domestic arbitration, but comes with a however. This bill has been enacted pursuant to a recommendation of the Krishna headed committee consisting of many eminent jurists which has come with this idea. And so the body which we are supposed to take over by this bill has done only 55 arbitration in 25 years. It will, it will be manned by whom? Retired Supreme Court judge? or retired High Court Chief Justice, eminent people in the field of arbitration. Let me tell you, honorable member, very clearly and categorically, that we are key in our government, that India must emerge as a big hub of arbitration. Just a minute. Please, please. I think after introduction, when we debate the bill, you will have ample opportunity to raise queries, and I will have some time to respond to your queries. This bill is very clear. And sir, lastly, I must say, this whole problem Government of India, let me convey to this house, we sitting here run the country with the matter of the people of India. And here is something that government of India cannot even give gentle directions to a body in person of right cause, I fail to understand. Don't belittle the people of India's mandate and the responsibility which dawns upon us on that side and this side. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Prashna ye ki videk ko पुनः स्थापित करने की अनुमति प्रदान की जाए जो सदस्य इसके पक्ष में हाँ कहें जो विरोध में ना कहें मेरे विचार में निर्णय हाँ वालों के पक्ष में हुआ है हाँ वालों के पक्ष में हुआ है अनुमति प्रदान की जाती है मंत्री जी अब पुनः विधेयक पुनः स्थापित कर सकते हैं सर आई रिड्यूस द बिल